Hi, everyone. Welcome to the fifth day of the 30 days, 30 tips on productivity in uh, July 2023. And in this video, we will talk about the famous work-life balance. But before we do that, I would like to remind you to please write below uh, whether you have any questions for me uh, around productivity that you want to see the answer of in the coming days. Otherwise, I'm also always open to any kind of feedback, what you liked about uh, the, the tips that I'm sharing, what you didn't like, what was missing, and all of that. And also, please like this video and subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel. If you're listening to this on the podcast, please subscribe to the, the podcast and leave me a review on iTunes uh, podcast. Okay, having gotten that out of the way, let's come back to the famous work-life balance. So I have prepared my notes as always, and I have four points to focus on today around the work-life balance. Number one, the balance that we need to strike is not the one of work and life, on the other hand, but dozens of, of different aspects of our lives. I'm sure you can think of many. We have work, of course. We have home life, um, household tasks even. We have the romantic relationship. We have uh, children. We have hobbies. We have volunteering activities, if we do any. Uh, if you are studying that, uh, if you have a side hustle, that too is something to be balanced. Self-care activities, exercise, family, friends, and more. Probably I am missing many of them as well, but, but you, you got the deal. So we need to think of this uh, work-life thing as bigger. And actually here, <laughs> work is very straightforward as if we have like two aspects in our lives, work and the rest. Well, it's not and the rest, work and that thing and that thing and that thing. So one uh, thing to keep in mind is this. Secondly, Obviously, there is no one single way to, to balance these things, right? Um, if, if there was one, we would already know it and everybody would do what was necessary to, to keep that balance. Everybody would be happy. Yay. But unfortunately, that's not the case. And I'm not even talking about uh, this balance varying from person to person i'm talking about that even for that same person uh this balance may vary from time to time depending on the period of our lives from circumstance to circumstance whether you have something urgent uh, that has come up or not so even even if you know how to uh so-called balance your life it doesn't mean that you can sustain this way of doing it in the long term and the third point i would like to make piggybacking on that the balance that we are talking about we are in charge of it you are in charge of your life being in balance or not because you choose to put effort on one thing over another. And I know some of you will say, oh, ah, yeah, but you don't know my life. I have to work uh, this much and I have to um, take my child to, uh, I don't know, football practice and then ballet and this and that the, the whole weekend. So I, I have absolutely no time. Well, that is also a choice you make. I would like to emphasize that because knowing that and standing behind that is empowerment. It's not like life is happening to you. Of course, there are circumstances that, that happen, but you choose how to react to those. So 
running with your child around, you know, from one activity to the other, doesn't have to mean that you are you are a victim of of your child's needs. It's just that you, together with your child, have decided that this would be the schedule, and you have, uh, yeah, volunteered, and you have prioritized this, and that's why you end up spending your energy on that over something uh, else. That balance that you have in that one particular moment depends on your needs at that moment, your energy level at that moment, the urgency of a certain situation uh, or, a, or a particular aspect of your life, um, or whether you have inspiration to do something over uh, something else, or whether you prefer to prioritize a certain aspect um, in comparison to something else. So there are lots of different things at play when we make these choices of prioritizing one thing over the other, even though that choice may not seem very intentional and conscious, we do make that uh, choice. That brings me to number four, which is the most important part of this whole uh, balance thing, in my opinion. This balance we're talking about, it's not a noun, it's a verb. Uh, in other words, when you think of uh, balance, don't think of the balance, that, that a, a static thing, but Think of to balance or balancing, which is a which is a verb, which is dynamic, which is which um, has this aspect of of movement, of flow, of let me take my pen, of constantly going back and forth in order to balance things out, and of course some things will fall off of this this line uh, sometimes we, we are not superhumans none of us are knowing that and being compassionate with yourself is very very important so my best advice around this would be to ride the wave of life and focus on uh, what requires your focus in that time, uh, in that aspect of your life. But just do it with intention. Do it purposefully. And remember that it is always your choice, even if you use these words or not, to focus on something over another. Tomorrow I'll be back with another tip. And until then, mind your own revisions. <laughs>